leave this for the next one but under here it just looks like more and more jericho more and more kingston but dude no freaking way what the freak is this no freaking way. a chase This is what happens when you don't have an office to put everywhere in its rightful place, man. This stuff builds up from reviews and all this different mess up here, man. Look at this garbage over here. You gotta fix that, man. What's good, everybody? Today we are back with a brand new toy hunt video. Look at this. Look at this mess over here. It's freaking ridiculous. Get yourself together, Brad. But today we're going on a toy hunt, man. Just wrapped up our FTW exclusive hook review right here. Got a couple of hook figures right there, man. So these are looking pretty snazzy. But today we're going to be going on a toy hunt, man. Really excited to do so. You know, I'm still in the hunt for AEW Supreme Collection CM Punk. So that's what we're going to be looking for. And I'm not showing my face because it's really early in the morning, man. Super early in the morning right now. We're going to be hitting up a few stores here. And hopefully you guys will enjoy and join me on my journey here. So maybe, uh, you know, it's probably going to look dark outside, man. I mean, it's it's a, it's a early day right now. But nonetheless, man, let's go ahead and I'll see you in the car. I don't want to waste any more time. What are you doing standing? weird like that man nonetheless man let's get the hell out of here let's go get in the car go on our toy hunt and see what the hell we can find all right man early morning toy hunt here at the wally world right there paul Road damn tide all right man we're gonna go in here we're gonna find out what the hell we got looking pretty good it's, it's a nice little morning here a little brisk you know but maybe we'll find some good stuff we're on the hunt for supreme cm punk you know anything like, outside of that is kind of a disappointment to be honest with you but we'll see what happens they've renovated the hell out of this walmart and it smells very nostalgic in here for some reason but music's freaking blaring man let's see what we got here okay we got a little bit of ultimate edition alexa bliss got like six of these what is that we got brock lesnar rob van dam rob van dam brock lesnar another lesnar lesnar and van dam so they're loaded on those i don't think anybody's gonna have an issue finding those apparently we have a Quint figure, nice. We got Unrivaled 13 Wardlow, very clean, beautiful looking man right there. Look at, look, look at that right there. Who's messing with that guy? You're not, Brad, I'll tell you that. We got Dax Harwood in the house, and the J. Becky, Sonia, Raquel, and Becky. And then we got Elite 104 AJ, two of those. Beautiful looking figure, just mm, love that figure, man. And then we got Nyla, Nyla, Nyla. Christmas carols in the house and then uh, these battle packs have been here I swear to God if you go back on the channel there's I mean these have to have been here for two years or since they've released these have been here they like haven't sold one swear not a bad battle pack just not gonna move man and they don't put them on clearance they refuse uh, Bray Wyatt Bray Wyatt Hot Rod we got Papa Shango we got Rock and then uh, it's the same basics man Tons of basics up here. We got Austin. I don't see any no stuff like the hot. Oh yeah, we got the tribal chief here, so that's good. But I'm not seeing anything else really. Uh, so uh, I'm not seeing anything in here. What we got? Okay, so we do. We have a rock band down back here. That's cool. Oh. I mean, should I even put it back? I don't know. You know what? Out of respect, there's plenty here, but out of respect, maybe somebody needs that. We'll just put that back right there, right there. Man, really uh, underwhelming, to be honest with you. Thought there would be more here, you know, for 6 a.m. Thought it would be nice, but they've renovated this Walmart so much, man. That changed it up a lot. It's, they're making good strides here, but I don't see anything really else. Everything else is pretty stale here. Which is nothing that I need, so... I think that is going to do it for the location, man. I don't know what else to do. You know what? It's so early that I might get drive 40 minutes away and go somewhere else, but <sighs> we're holding the L on this one. This is incredibly irresponsible and dangerous, but I do love a damn good sunset at 7 a.m. Carry on. All right, man, here we are, Walmart number two over here, still with the crummy logo, man. I mean, how can you even tell it's Walmart if it's got this small AF font on the front of it there? But, I mean, who's, who's going to mistake Walmart, man? They don't need the recognition. Now, let's, man, let's go in here. Sun is still beaming like a hoe. Let's go in here, man. Let's see what we can get, and uh, maybe we can find some Supreme CM Punk. All right, guys, here we go. We got... Uh, this is that same Walmart that was stacked, I mean... Looks like they've restocked the Ultimate Editions. We got Brock Lesnar in the house, looking good. We got Rob Van Dam, looks like. We got a couple Rob Van Dams. 
actually. Got three of those. Well, they got a lot of Eddie Kingston here. Looks like Unrivaled 9, 12. Lots of Eddie Kingston and lots of Chris Jericho, man. Like a ton of these. But they're definitely not in any short supply of the Walmart exclusive AEW figures, man. I mean, these are going to be here for eternity. There's so much. I can't really... It's hard to see back there, but... It looks like a lot of the same stuff. Anna J, Ortiz from Un Unmatched Series 6. A lot of J Uso, Elite 100 still in the house. We got Hot Rod, Hot Rod, Mr. Perfect again. These were here last time, but they did refix the section, so that's good. But tons and tons of Roman Reigns right here, man. Nearly 3,200 Roman Reigns right here. And it looks like 3,200 Ruthless Aggression Rocks right here. Uh, we got one Ruthless Aggression Miz, Tamina. A lot of the same stuff, man. Kashida, Top Picks, Roman, Braun Breaker, Basic was here last time. Battle Packs, Battle Packs, Tamina, Bianca. Uh, I don't see any Supreme CM Punk, man, but it's all Elite 100 back here. Stunning Steve, Becky, Becky, Becky. 50 Beckys, Rey Mysterio. Still not a lot of Andre or The Rock, I'm noticing, but it's definitely cool to see more Rob Van Dam and Lesnar in here. Getting more of these is, is awesome. I don't know if I'm going to purchase them though. I feel like they may be here a minute. So I'm going to leave this for the next one. But under here, it just looks like more and more Jericho, more and more Kingston. But dude, no freaking way. What the freak is this? No freaking way. A Chase Cream Hook. Dude, what? Got a little damage on it. But oh my, oh my God in heaven, man. I think this is my third chase ever to see in person, like find it at retail. But dude, it was it was sitting like this right here. This Pac. They have Series 7 Pac. But this was laying like this and this was just out in the open. So that means that somebody saw it and didn't grab it. Why would you do that? They must not know what they had there, but cream hook, man, what a freaking day. They also have Pentagon. So, dude, that's nuts. I am uh, definitely grabbing this. That's amazing. What a fantastic day. No CM Punk, but Cream Hook is, is an absolute W, man. That is great. I'm absolutely giddy right now. Okay, so we're getting that. And then they do have Pac. They have Thunder Rosa here, which is also good. And then they do have CM Punk back here. But it is the LJN or the uh, Wrestling Superstars AEW CM Punk right there. So that is cool to see. But holy crap, we sent Hook today, man. We got Cream Hook in the house. And again, it is damaged. I'm opening it. I'm absolutely opening it. But um, tons of Eddie Kingston after that. Oh, my God. What a crazy. I don't even know what the hell to say. All right. Well, that's, that's dubs. Hell, yeah. Let's go. All right, man. Here we are. We're back home after the toy hunt, man. Pretty damn successful, if you do ask me. Some stuff that I did not imagine. I did not imagine this today, man. Let's get into the first store, and then we'll break it down for the second store, of course. I was really on the fence on the store number one, man. We did buy another Ultimate Edition Rob Van Dam. I really don't know why I decided to get one of these. I just guess because it is an Ultimate Edition, it is Rob Van Dam. And I was sitting there thinking, you know, those store exclusive figures, especially Ultimate Editions, after they're gone, they are gone. And once they are gone, man, you're kind of effed if you didn't get them. And I don't want this thing to shoot up in price and then want to do a custom later, do a fix up later. You might as well take it at retail price if you really do want extras, if you're going to do that for the future, rather than wait on it and then the thing is worth you know, a hundred bucks or whatever it is. And it may never shoot up in price. Maybe it never does shoot up in price. But one of the things about the aftermarket for the WWE action figures, especially when it comes to, you know, elites and ultimate editions, you never know about the aftermarket, man. It could be really, really unpredictable. I said a lot on the channel. So went ahead and grabbed the RVD. I, I love this figure. I have no, you know, quarrels about having an extra one. I could have bought the whole thing and would have been completely fine with it. But I went with one today. But we did grab another figure, and the second figure was Wardlow. I went ahead and bought another Wardlow from Unrivaled 13, you know. I do have the other one that we haven't reviewed yet, and I went ahead and bought this one as well, just because I love Wardlow, man. I love Wardlow. I thought it was a great-looking figure. I like the way he looks right here, man. He's got the red gear on and everything like that. I did get that Amazon-exclusive 1 of 3,004 pack. I don't think I'm going to open it, but I can showcase that in a video soon. 
So I do want to showcase that like Amazon four pack with all the gold in it. And it looks very similar to this figure actually, except it does have like gold accents and stuff of that nature. But now I'm going to open one of the Wardlows and leave one of them in on card. I don't know which one's going to be which, but we did get another Wardlow to add to the collection. And last but not least, I don't know how, man, but we got the cream attire, one of 5,000 chase unmatched series seven hook figure. I don't know how this was possible. I don't know how this was possible. You guys saw it there. The Pac was laying down or what have you. And this was just chilling there. So that means that somebody looked at this figure and decided not to purchase it. And what's even more wild is this comes like mere hours after doing my Hook FTW ringside exclusive review. Where I talked about wanting this figure so bad and making a joke about making a deal for it. And we go to Walmart and boom, there it is on the pegs, man. So I don't know. That was completely insane. I've never seen something like that. I want to say this is my third chase ever finding it in the wild. I found the Unmatched Series 2 Sting, I found the Unmatched Series 3 Anna J, and now I have found the Unmatched Series 7 Hook. So I have never found an unrivaled like main series chase figure, I don't think, but I have seen a bunch of Unmatched. So here is Hook, man. Look at the figure, man. This is beautiful, and I'm going to be opening it because there's so much damage right here. I just don't think I'm going to leave this metal card when it's that damaged up front. Like, typically, if I'm going to have a chase figure, if the if the packaging is super damaged, I go ahead and open it. Because what's the point, man? You might as well open that thing up. And now I will have every single hook figure loose, and it'll be awesome. So I want to take this in there and showcase it up next to the other hook figures we got. So let's go do that right now. All right, man. So here he is. We have the ringside exclusive FTW Championship, you know, white and black attire hook. We have the regular Unmatched Series 7. We have the Unmatched Series 7 Chase. And then over here, we do have the two-pack. As you guys can see, Amazon exclusive AEW hook and two-pack. I do have two of those. I need to open that one up. But seeing all of these up next to each other and having all four of them is awesome. Again, in our review, we talked about the cream, you know, hook figure. And then, bam, there it is. So this was awesome. The figure looks awesome. Glad to have all these hooks here turned out amazing and i think today was a damn successful toy hunt did not expect to find the chase on our adventure and we did and we brought it home still looking for the supreme cm punk but hopefully we can pull that off soon but nonetheless that is going to wrap up the video the guys thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy huge shout out to our patron members of the mdt youtube channel always appreciate those fellas over there thank you guys so very much for your continued support love you guys so very much but outside of that man that is going to wrap up the video for today thank you guys so very much for watching the video leave me your thoughts down below leave me a like comment what you think down in the comment section below as well and i will see you guys in the next one follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i will see you guys later have a blessed one and i will catch you later